Hello guys, uh, nice to meet you again. It's been a while since my last uh, uploads. Um, I'm stupid and this is Backbone. Now, why am I stupid? Because I already recorded um, the let's play of this whole prologue that you can play for free. And then I fucked up the visuals. Yeah, I just uh, kind of recorded a black screen for one hour and a half. I mean, shit happens. Good thing about this is, always look on the bright side of life, my voice is now um, fucked up in exactly the right way that I can give a nice fucked up detective voice to our protagonist, the raccoon detective. Problem is, um, I'm not playing it blind anymore, obviously, but we will manage. Let's just go at this again. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Uh-huh. What do I press? Nothing. Just enough time to clean up. Hello, everyone. It's me. I'm a raccoon. Uh, use AD or W, yep, to interact with objects. So far, so good. It's a side-scroller. I can walk to the left, I can walk to the right, and I can look at stuff. Inspect desk. Use that, the mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Nice. You can drag around this bowl. Nothing else though? Nope. And E to pick up. Yo, got it. I'll point green at 4 p.m. John D. Insurance fraud. Oh, that's another case, I guess. And dangly feet. I don't know what this is, but it's dangly feet. Close. Case files. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Hmm. You could, but you could just keep them. They might come in handy. Go to the living room. Also, we have a, a bunk bed. <laughs> I didn't catch that last time. That's the good thing if you play a game twice. You catch a whole lot of new stuff. Media set. And this damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fosdale. And when I have cash. So, never. Office? Yeah. Notes on a fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Um, yeah, emphasis on the last one. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. You can never tell. Window. Hard to get tired of this view. Yeah, it's really nice. There are some flowers out there. Um, I don't know how they are called. Um, wait. No, I don't know in English. I only know in German. And I really like how the light hits the bottles. It's beautiful. Place dishes. Yeah. I'll watch this later. Probably not. Yeah, there's already a bunch of them piling up. But we still have some clean ones up here, so we'll be good. I hope. Toilet. Mmm. Toilet books. Yeah. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Hmm. Can we read it? Elliot Graham said it's best. Enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. Hmm, okay. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as a gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and the citizens. Okay. What is it talking about? Is that fiction or does it talk about the real world that we are in? I don't know. But I clearly missed a some of that text the first time I played it. Office. Oh yeah, place chemicals. So apparently we have a photo camera and we can develop stuff. That comes in handy as a detective. Everything knows its proper place. Hm. We cleaned up. That must be Mrs. Green. Let her in. 
Okay, that's all that. Excuse me, I'm looking for a detective, Lothar. We spoke on the phone. I'll try to pick the first things that I, uh, the same things that I picked the first time. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Uh, uh, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine. And uh, please, oh, that is fine. Your first kid? Third, actually. Ha, huh. must be a handful. They can be, but they are the silver lining every day. I bet they're adorable. They are. Daisy, my eldest especially. She takes such good care of Elliot. So, how can I help you today, Odette? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Have you tried to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Huh. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't be even a question. Your husband will want the kids? I... I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Huh. Uh, do you need every edge I can get? He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm <laughs> doing what it takes to protect their future. I didn't get this option last time. I must have clicked something else. That's interesting. That shows her in another light than last time. She wasn't that sympathetic last time I talked to her. This time I... I understand. Odette, this is not your fault. I know. You're right. Is he aggressive? Not physically, but he has a mean temper. Unpredictable. What makes you so certain he's having an affair? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke and something poignant, a kind of herbal stink. He's skipping work? I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. There wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I, I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It, it didn't go well. Let's do this, Odette. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Sure. What do you need to know? Well... What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. So, she says he's an otter, of course. So, is it um, normal in this world that people, um, animals of the same kind, marry and get children? Can they not get children with some other kind of animal? I don't know. Probably not. Probably that's why they get together with only their kind. Anyways, where would I find him usually? I mean, usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jess. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. Okay, that should be enough. He, there's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. 
It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're right that you're the right guy for the job? First time I picked this one, she wasn't too confident in me then, so probably this one. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't let me down, Lothar. Mr. Lothar, I trust you with my life. Of course. I get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. I swear to God, my English is 100% better this time than the first time I tried to record this. Of course, reading everything twice helps, but also my English was a bit rusty. I mean, it still isn't the best of the best of the best, but... Ah, yeah, tab. Here we go. So, inventory is the photo of Jeremy Green. A picture of Odette's husband. Doesn't really strike you like a sleazy skirt chaser. L like a sleazy sh skirt... Yeah, never mind what I just said. <laughs> a sleazy skirt chaser doesn't seem handsome enough. Hmm? Maybe he's funny. Not very nice of you to say, my dear one. Um, here I can read all the notes that I... Yeah, notes to self. Odette Green is about her. Um, I'm not gonna read all of that again. If you want to, you can read it or you play the prologue yourself. It's free on Steam. I'll link it in the description. Objective. Find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at the Wolf Bank on Granville. It's a good place to start. And we complete this one. Tidy up before the client arrives. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I cannot walk. I can only walk left and right. And the loading bar is a cigarette that slowly burns down. Because like every good detective noir detective... Wait, that math doesn't make sense, but you understand me? I'm smoking cigarettes. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. There's those graffitis that say stay vigilant. Which str struck me the first time. Here's a squirrel. Hello. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Huh. Yeah? How's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? I could say I'm hanging too. <laughs> From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Goodbye then. That's that. Lawyer's office. And you notice all the detail that went into this uh, city scene i was already amazed the first time because like do you see the street and how the light is reflecting on every single pebble dang it looks good like the puddles look a bit weird because the whole street seems to wobble but in between the puddles ace just ace that car has seen better days Furman and sons hmm <laughs> Furman. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. And I hope you won't go crazy and kill someone, my dear uh, raccoon friend. And I like all the animals with the umbrellas in the rainy city. And the smooth jazz in the background. The day I bought a bike. The life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man. And he does it on his bike. <laughs> One more. Johnny and John don't drive. Two retired taxi drivers meet next to their childhood home. And Johnny doesn't know what John, that John, is dying. Oh, no! And you can see up there, the cinema is showing... Oh, damn, there's even a small popcorn machine. Oh, this is gorgeous. Um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You can see up there which, which movies they play. The Day I Bought a Bike, Citizen Maine, <laughs> and Johnny and John Don't Drive. Also, the great story shown every day at 11.10 a.m. and 5.10 p.m. This is the Vogue. They did, they did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Well, is it sad? I mean, there's a bit, little bit, a lot of garbage lying around here. Apart from that, Anatoly. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to in this fine evening? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, want to hear a great story? 
Mm, sure. So, my wifey, Estrella, and I, we got a second lad on the way. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. He's a big one, too. S is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, <laughs> woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> yeah, great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? Howie, ease up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell his story? Yeah, I'm looking for a guy. Um, here's the photo. Seen him recently? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, new type of ob objective. I have problems with the world with the word. You know what? I just stop keep talking. <laughs> I have problems with the word 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 objective. <sighs> I don't know how we I've seen so many faces. I know those scony swords like flashing their cash at the bite though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there? As he'd have my balls. <laughs> anyway, Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Anatoly. See you around. Mm. Very sympathetic beaver friend. Probably not. Not quite a friend. Hmm. People. Uh, so the cafe is his, huh? Probably. Dr. Cyclops. <laughs> that kind of rem reminds me of the Godfather, that poster. Don't know why. Probably it's the silhouettes. Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Yeah. Bank. Woof bank. Is this where green works? Banker. Huh. Okay. Now the thing is, I already know what to say to get the information I need. So I just do that, I'm sorry. But there's a lot of more options to to talk to people. So um, if you don't want to get spoiled for the prologue, play it yourself. And you can choose what you want to choose. Yeah. Mm, you folks work at Woof Bank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jess around? And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him anywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Hi, Derek. When was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp, has, the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's going to split his wig. <laughs> okay. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Hmm. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday, until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? <laughs> Fuck what I know. Now skedaddle rack. I'll do just that. Okay. Call me a rack for raccoon? Meh. It's not very friendly. So the bite, huh? should be at the bite. What is the bite? There is the bite. Swinging tails. Huh, interesting. Looks a little bit raunchy, the place. Hmm. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. <laughs> I, won't know. I don't know if that helps you here. Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Hmm. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. <laughs> Deal. Uh, sure. Bye. Won't let me in. I'm pretty sure he doesn't like to get bribed or anything like that either, so not even gonna try. I, I can run if I want to. Ali. Stay vigilant. There's a the graffiti again. Who's this? Larry. I mean, of course, I already know who it is, but I wondered the first time. Howard. Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> who are you calling old, you old rascal? 
<laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't have my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? Live? Have you seen the tough crowd here? <laughs> I live at the bridge now. It's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help you in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? You know, I'll tell you later. No, I'm, ask I'm gone asking. What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife, can't tell, client confidentiality, nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Ah, like they do. What's he like? That's not right. That's it. Or I am showing him the photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything, I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Yeah, right, I've got a lead from the banker. I think I know where to look, or thanks, I'll catch you later, bye. That one. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Is that your guy's an otter? That's weird. N also, a cat and dog crowd is weird. So the, the different animal uh, kinds don't seem to mix that well. But cats and dogs do? That, that's a little bit weird. Hmm, have any ideas how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal uh, what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? You're typical, like hype and chatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this Johnny guy would help? Monkey butt? Yeah. Word is this new, thi this new thing is the shit. Now perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. A stanky thing. Okay. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. So that's probably what um, our dear Jess was his name smelled off when he came home to his wife. And you think this Johnny guy would help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Okay, what do you know about the bite? Owner's a uh, Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The bear family? Crime family. Had a lot of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies and shit hits the fan. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Wow, what is she up to now? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. Alright, it should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. Got it, Howard. Uh, welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you.